Hey guys, welcome to Tectrix tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about image to image prompt Leonardo AI, how to use own images as a reference prompt. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Leonardo AI is a platform that lets you create images using your own pictures as a reference. So you upload your image, adjust the settings, and the AI generates new images inspired by your reference, offering creative control over your resulting work. So why does designers use this platform? So they mainly use this because this provides them with a powerful tool to enhance their creative artwork. So this platform allows designers to quickly generate images based on their own reference photos, offering a valuable source of inspiration and a means to explore different artistic styles and concepts. So it simplifies and expedites the design process, making it easier for designers to bring their ideas to life while maintaining a high level of artistic control, ultimately saving time and expanding their creative possibilities. So as you can see in here, these are actually the different images that was generated by the different designers before. This is the platform gallery. So to be headed onto this page, what you'll just need to do is to head on Leonardo's website, which is leonardo.ai, and then right after, you'll just need to this page, where it gives you an option to create an account with no credit card needed. So I'll just simply click onto that, and then right after, you'll see a note that you need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in. So if you're still not yet whitelisted, you have the option to register here. So you have to input your first name, then your email, and then click count me in. Right after, you should be able to see some prompts that you need to follow so that you'd get an email that you're already on the list. Once that is done already, and once you receive that email, you'll just need to simply click on to yes, I'm whitelisted so that you'll get redirected onto the login page. Right after that, you should be redirected onto this login page wherein it gives you an option to continue with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or you could type in your email and your password. So if you have forgotten your password, just simply click on to forgot your password in here and then click on to sign in once you're already done. So if you need an account, simply click on to sign up and you can see also here onto the bottom part, the privacy policy and the terms of service. Now let's head or log in into your account using your preferred login option. Now, right after that, you are redirected to Leonardo's AI's initial page or the dashboard. And as you can see, we have here the different models that they feature. So if you use this arrow here onto the upper part, you can scroll through the options that they offer. And if you scroll down here a little bit, you should be able to see the recent generations by other users. So you can browse through all of this and you could use also the filter and the search bar onto the upper part so that you could find in some inspiration to use onto your own image generation. Now here onto the left side, you should be able to see the tokens that are available into your account. The start here wherein you should be able to see your home, which is currently open right now, the community feed, personal feed, training and data sets, finds and models, some user tools, the settings, fact and health, and the log off button. So what we're going to be using today is this AI image generation. So we'll just need to simply click onto that. And then right after, you should be redirected onto this page in here. So this is the editing page or the generating page that we have in here. So here is the part where you can write in a prompt and you could choose a fine tune model. So you have also a negative prompt in here. So you can see the recent generation history here onto the lower part. So these are the generations that I did earlier. And then here onto the left side, you can see your tokens, the number of images that you want to generate. So you could choose up until eight. So you have your photo reel, prompt magic, alchemy, public images. You could choose in an image dimension. So this, you just simply click onto that and you can see also the guidance scale in here. And here's what we're going to use here. So as you can see, it says image to image and image prompt. So for us to be able to add in your own portrait or picture in here, so you'll just need to head on to this bottom part in here and you need to upload or drag and drop an image to use this as an input. So actually what we're going to use in here is this image to image and since it is actually locked out in here, so let's try to adjust settings here onto the upper part. So let's try to turn off this prompt magic so that we should be able to use this feature already. So as you can see, we'll just need to drag and drop our photo in here to use as an input. So let's try to do that. So I'll just get my portrait in here. 
And as you can see, I have our photo already. So I've got this photo from Pexels, a website wherein you should be able to get some free photos. So we'll just need to drop it in here so that we would be able to upload it. So we're just going to wait to be uploaded. So as you can see, we have successfully added already a portrait of a guy here. So as you can see, we have your init strength. So this is actually helpful on sort of prompt generation. So the higher this is, the higher it will preserve the original image. So we could try to adjust this as per your liking so that we could also try to see different generations into our photo. Now we have here the prompt. So this is really important since it significantly influences the quality and relevance of the generated image. So a well-crafted prompt helps convey the desired concepts or style to the AI, resulting in more accurate and visually appealing outcomes. So let's try to paste in the prompt that I have written earlier. So as you can see, we could try to turn this portrait into a larger than life. So let's try just superhero into a superhero. Complete with a dynamic pose, a vibrant costume, and an epic cityscape in the background. So let's try to see what it will generate. So this will use six tokens, and let's try to click onto that. Now, as you can see, here are the photos that it generated. So it still looks like the same onto the photo, it's just that it looks like it was drawn. So let's try to enhance more using this in its strength. So let's lessen this one out. And also let's try to update the prompt that we have in here to achieve what we want. Well, let's try to remove this one out in here and then let's try to add in some more now here is the updated prompt that i have in here so i've changed it to vibrant superhero in a bustling cityscape dynamic energetic fears vibrant realistic intricate details we could remove something that we don't want to see in the image so let's add in here deformed bodies we don't want to see that and also broken lips so let's go ahead and try to generate again now here are the images that it generated. So as you can see, we've got a more of like superhero already. However, it is actually a lot of them and it is not really what we want to achieve. So let's try to update again the init strength in here. So let's add it up into 0.37 and let's try to see what it will generate. Now we could also try and do the negative prompt. Let's add it in here multiple person so that we don't see other person as well onto the generation that will do so let's try to click generate again now as you can see we can already see the generation was almost the same onto the original photo that we have in here so let's try to click onto it so we almost achieve already what we want in here and we are already seeing a superhero like person so we have the option to delete the image in here download it also copy this we have the unzoom and the remove background now let's try to be creative more and let's try to adjust this in its setting strength let's lessen this one out and then let's regenerate again so that we could just keep on generating until we achieve the desired photos that we want to have now, as you can see, compared to the original photo in here, we can see that the elements are still being taken, such as the position of the character and the distribution of some elements. But we can see an image that looks like a superhero. So let's zoom that one out. So we can see some details in here that makes it like a superhero, such as the one that it got onto his arm. Let's try to see the other photo and this one as well. So we could try to save this and download this one out. Now let's try in another prompt to see what it will look like so let's remove superhero in here and let's try to write in another prompt for this image now let's try out this prompt that i have in here which is full body 3d render of a hawaiian man in an intricately detailed octane render donning casual beach wear exuding confidence and charisma in 8k resolution so let's try to generate this one out with the same strength and the same negative prompts as you can see, here are the different images that it generated. Let's try to zoom in that and this one as well. So we could try to download this and let's try to change the background. Change the background to beach or anything related to that. And let's see what it will generate. And as you can see, here are the photos that it generated. So for this one, actually this is a little deformed since we adjusted the strength a while ago. Also here onto the other side. So we can see that it has a beach cover already. And so... Just feel free to adjust the init strength, also the prompts in here, so that you'd be able to achieve all of the things that you want to see onto your image generation. And there you have it. You will learn how to use image to image prompt in Leonardo AI. So don't forget to, to add in your portrait and then customize it as per your liking so that you would be able to generate some amazing photos from your own portrait.
So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any question, leave it down on the comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on our next video.